Just allowing yourself to breathe. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Again, nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Just allow yourself to come into some normal breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Feel that softening through the face. Checking in with your heart. space into a space of gratitude. And let the word itself just kind of resonate within you. When you feel it, what does it feel like? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it warm? their growth to it. Allow the outer corners of your mouth and your lips to turn up. So I started off from a space of gratitude, we give gratitude to the universe recognizing an energy that's bigger than us that we're still collectively a part of. Give gratitude to this earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. That we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. Gratitude to indigenous peoples of these lands, the Northern Cheyenne and the Crow, the Salish, the Blackfoot, the Lakota tribes. And always reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. So it's thought, word, and deed. Gratitude for this practice of yoga and meditation. It reminds us that we as human beings are innately good. We're kind and honest, generous and just. And that we move and act in order to embody all of those truths. We give gratitude to black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice. The space of ahimsa, also known as nonviolent or loving action. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage. Acknowledging our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions. Holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore the damages that have been done. In order to build a peaceful and loving world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice and your meditation to today. You can draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale. Bring 
come into your heart center. The corners of your mouth turn up. And then exhale. Send them up. Allow yourself to come back into just a normal breath. Turn on your back. You can slowly start to bring some movement into your body and make your way up into a simple seat. In a simple seat, maybe just flutter open your eyes and rock back on your seat and change up the cross of your feet. Eyes slowly open so you can kind of reorientate yourself into the room and the space. Noticing any detailing and any changes. Maybe something that you just haven't noticed before. And slowly turn and look out past your left shoulder. Roll back and down to your right shoulder. Let the rotation just come from your neck. You have the tendency to kind of rock back in your head, pull your jawline so it comes parallel to the earth, and move your eyes into the side of your skull. And slowly move your chin to your center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Turn and look out past your right shoulder. Eyes move way into the side of your skull. Again, maybe you rock down through your jawline. Crown of the head lifts. Notice any tension that you're holding in your shoulders and your neck. And maybe direct your breath into those spaces. Slowly bring your head all the way back to your center line. Rock your chin so it points to this front upper corner of the room. Breathe here. Think about clearing out through the front part of your neck and your throat. And then on your exhale, slowly tuck your chin all the way down towards your chest. Let your shoulder blades roll down and back and let your breastbone rise up to kind of meet your jawline. Catch that compression in your fibroid. Try swallowing a couple of times. And slowly bring your chin back to your center. Let your hands come down and out to your sides. You're in a sweep. Your left hand up and over and cup onto your right ear. Sit up nice and tall here. And be really directed with your breath. So make space or space in your skull and in your brain. Draw your breath all the way to the top of the skull. Maybe press down through the round of the palm while still keeping your fingertips tented. Doesn't have to be a huge press. Any tension that you're holding in your skull, in your head. Allow yourself to release. Big inhale. Exhale. Release your head, but keep your head cocked over to the side. You're gonna take your right hand to the top of your shoulder. And you're going to grip onto your shoulder and you're going to pull down through your right elbow. You're going to take your left hand so your pinky fingers line up. You're going to hold here. And then you're going to scoop your forearm or your wrist underneath your chin and lift through your left elbow. Keep breathing here. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Bring your elbows back together to touch. Release your head. And then slowly with control, you're still going to keep pulling through the crown of your head, but you're going to try to tuck your chin down towards your chest and roll your right ear all the way over to the right hand side up through that opposite side of your neck. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Big inhale here. Big 
pay attention to the difference in tightness from one side to the other. And then slowly with control, roll your chin back down towards your chest and bring it back the same way that you came into it. Pull your shoulder blades down and back. Pull down through your right shoulder. And slowly bring your head back to your center line. Same thing on the opposite side. Fingertips come out and they tend beyond your hips. And this time you're gonna sweep your right hand up and over to cup onto your left ear and pull up through the heart and the chest and then pull that left ear towards your left shoulder. Think about pressing down through the round. Your right ear to right shoulder and then you're pressing down through the round of your left palm. Take your breath all the way up into the top of your skull. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Keep your head cocked over to the side. Same thing, left hand is gonna come up onto the top of your left shoulder. You're gonna grip onto your shoulder, get a nice tight grip, and then pull down through your left elbow. And then your right hand is gonna, or right pinky is gonna come and line up with your left. And then you're gonna scoop your wrist underneath your chin. Hold here. Two more big breaths, big inhale. Exhale, breathe through any discomfort. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Keep your head cocked over to the side. And then slowly with control, pull your chin down towards your chest as you're still trying to reach to the top of your skull. And then you're gonna rock your chin across your chest and your breastbone and bring your head over to that opposite side. Pull your shoulder blades down and back and try to pull that left ear towards your left shoulder without the use of your hands. Big inhale. One more time, big inhale here. And then exhale slowly, bring your chin all the way back down. And then move it back and over to that opposite side. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Nice job, y'all. And then slowly bring your head back to your center. So your chin, so your jawline comes parallel with the earth. And then let's go ahead. You can keep your blankets where they are at, but go ahead and release your feet. We'll do a little bit of a hip thing before we bring ourselves down and onto our backs. Fingertips are gonna come back behind you and the knees are gonna point up to the sky. You're gonna hold here, big inhale. Pop up through your heart and chest and then just let your knees just kind of wave back and forth side to side a little bit. Big inhale here. And then slowly let your knees drop over to the left hand side and heel toe your left foot out from underneath your right and then you're gonna stack your left ankle to the outside of your right knee and then slowly let your knees kind of drop down as you press up through your heart and chest. So with your breath, you can always play around right with your right inside arch of your foot on the mat to move it towards one side or the other. Two more big breaths here, big inhale. Exhale, one more time, big inhale. And then exhale slowly, rock your knees through your center line. You're gonna drop your left foot down to the earth and then you're gonna pull. You're gonna grab onto the front part of your left ankle and you're gonna pull so your knees 
and essentially be stacked on one another or close to heels or to the opposite side of your hips. Sit up nice and tall here. And then you slowly drop down through your heart and chest over the top of that thigh. Be mindful of the knee that's lifted. And just pull your heart towards your thighs. You don't have to force it. Big inhale. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And then exhale, pull yourself all the way back up. Good, slowly rotate back. And release that knee. Windshield wiper your feet back and forth, side to side. And then let your knees drop over to the right. And then heel toe that right foot out from underneath the left and then just drape it as you press up through the heart and chest. And let the weight of the leg just naturally pull down. Just check in if one side of the body feels different than the other. There's no judgment, right? Just understanding where it is that we hold our tension. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. And big inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. And then exhale. Pull your knees through your center line. And then again, your right sole of the foot is going to drop down. And then you're going to rock down to both of your sit bones. And then you're going to pull heels to either side of your hips. And you can always do like a little lift and shift through your seat as long. It's not going to torque too much on the top knee. Okay, nice deep inhale. Sit up nice and tall. And then on your exhale, you can always crawl your fingertips out in front of you on this one. You can also just keep your hands like to your heels to keep your feet down to the earth. And then you're just gonna pull your heart and chest down and over the top of that right thigh. Engage your low belly, pull it up and in. Exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. Exhale slowly, lift your heart and chest back up and out of it. And then you're slowly just gonna rock back on your seat. You can release your feet. Do one more little kind of shift back and forth, side to side with your knees until you slide your seat forward and you can bring yourself all the way back and down. Hug your knees up into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug here. You can always shift back and forth side to side. And if you want to come into a happy baby, you have that option. Putting a bend in the knees and then allowing yourself to shift back and forth here. Maybe you kick out through one leg. So one legged happy baby. Make sure that you pull the low part of your back down to either side. And then same thing. And then slowly release. Let your legs come all the way down to the end of the mat. Just finding your Shavasana. If I could speak, your Shavasana. Checking in with your breath.
myself for now. Body, just sink into the mat a little bit more as you allow the earth to rise up for you too. Check in with how your clothes feel against your skin and let that thought go. with any sounds that you're hearing in the room that might be distracting and then let them go. Any thoughts that kind of seep into the mind, thank them for coming and then let them go. today, fiction tomorrow. In the Secret Power of Yoga by Michelle Joy Devi. We often forget that observing natural occurrences has made many important discoveries. Alexander Fleming's curiosity led him to study a simple mold, offensive to most of us making the intuitive leap that these organisms could miraculously cure infection. Commonly known as penicillin, the minute spore became the panacea that saved millions of lives. Many theories may be correct and accurate today, but tomorrow, if new discoveries and advanced advancement, those truths of yesterday may be discounted. What happens to our belief in the first theory? Is it shaken? The mind wants to switch to the new hypothesis, but how quickly are we able to change? Several hundred years ago, a few noble scientists, including Giordano Bruto, proclaimed that the Earth was not the center of the planetary system, let alone the universe. The repercussions were uproarious, and the theory was considered blasphemous. It was a well-known fact at that time that the sun, as well as other planets, orbited around the Earth. The outraged church declared the discovery to be heresy, and Bruno, a prominent astronomer, a seer, and a speaker of truth, was burned at the stake. Later, Galileo corroborated Bruno's theory and was sentenced to house arrest for, a num for the remainder of his life. Today, the knowledge that the Earth revolves around the sun is a straightforward observation. We even call it the solar system, a statement of fact, but at that time, the opposite was considered true. We all agree that the Earth revolves around the sun, yet we continue to use archaic language what words do you use to describe what you observe at dawn and dusk? 
Why do you say the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening? Most people do, yet we just clearly establish that the sun does not revolve around us. But how could it rise and set? Even with correct knowledge, we are slow to change our consciousness and our metaphors. Always be willing for your concept of a reality to change as your consciousness brightens. feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine loving means see these formats and reflex. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine loving each of you collectively and all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me this afternoon and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. I leave you with this space to share your own peace. Remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, everyone.